another wrap up TBR. The month has flown by. I can't believe August is already over. Can you talk about the books I read in August and the books I am planning to read in September? August, I read a grand total of 10 books. Another amazing month for me. I would have never guessed I would have another amazing month. I'm excited and I'm thrilled I had another great month. I mean, 10 books. Holy crap, that's a lot. I don't know what has caused this reading spurt for me these past couple months, but I'm loving it and I'm hoping it stays keeps stays keeps up you know that kind of stuff first book i read that is at the library and it is shopaholics ties the knot and it is the third book i think in the shopaholic series i enjoy this series overall it's by sophie kinsella you guys know how much i love sophie kinsella i will say this is my least favorite of the series so far which is quite shocking for me because as you all know i'm a wedding photographer so i love weddings and stuff but i just felt this one to be very unbelievable like the situation she was put in i was like really Overall, I gave it a 3 out of 5. I will continue to read the series, but I'm not in huge demand or in a huge rush to read them at the moment. The next book, which I read, was also from the library, and that is called The First Husband by Warren Dave, I think. Ugh, sorry. This was a contemporary one. It was, I read it on a whim at the library. I don't know why I picked it up. And I really didn't like it, to be uh, honest, that much. I think it had a great start. I was excited about it. And then it just kind of faltered for me. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. I only gave it a 3 out of 5, so, psh, you know. <laughs> the next book I read, which is Reboot by Amy Tintera. I love this one. Will I say I love it as much as everyone else does? Probably not, which is kind of shocking. The premise was a great for it. I felt like I, I didn't love... Callum. Like, I think a lot of people love Callum, but I found him to not be likable as much. Does that make sense? I just don't like him. But I love the book. Overall, I gave it a 4 out of 5 because I thought it was a great book and I will continue to read the series. The next book I read, which is at the library, quit coincidentally, is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. And I loved it. Oh, you guys told me I would love it and I loved it. Before you say anything, I've not read Sea of Monsters yet. I, what happened was I was planning to read it and then it had the library return date and I just forgot to renew it so I had to return it. I do plan on reading that series so I will probably not include them a lot in my TBRs but I plan to read it. Like I plan to be done with this series before the year's over. You can count on me for that. And I have not seen Sea of Monsters movies strictly because everyone hated it. Like everyone hated it. So I was like I really don't see a point in seeing it right now, but I do plan to see it when it comes on DVD and I plan to read the book. Anyway, I love Lightning Thief. I thought it was a phenomenal book. Very, very adventure-y. I, ugh, I loved it. Five out of five, of course. This book I read, which I do own, but I'm actually letting a friend borrow it because I loved it so much, and that is The Running Dream by Wendelin Van Der, I think. It's so hard to remember the authors when you don't have the books right in your hand. I love this book. I would highly recommend for all of you guys to read it. Like, I want to do its own review, honestly. If if you guys want that let me know because I loved it because it was such a motivator I feel like a lot of times I get down about my life and I get just in a down mood and I feel like Ugh, life's awful and then I read about this about a girl who has lost her leg and she has to overcome that like then I'm like you know like look at her look at all the strength she has Phenomenal book if you want a great motivational book, but it's still fictiony. I would highly recommend and really made me want to get up and do something with my life like make it It was just awesome five out of five Loved it. I can definitely see why I won all those awards next book. I read which I <laughs> So let a friend bar because I love it so much the darkest minds by Alexander Brack And I won't talk too much about this one because I have its review on it Which you can click right here to go watch five out of five go watch the review you need to read this book like now. Go read it so we can talk about it. Okay. The next book I read on a whim, again from the library, is Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne. And I was really excited to read this book because I love the premise of this book. I thought it was a great book. If you don't know what this book is about, it's about like the world kind of coming to an end, if you will, about these kids they are on their way to school and this hailstorm crazy thing happens. The driver, um, she like drives into like, like almost quintessential like a Walmart and crashes there and all these kids aging from like eight to like 17 are stuck in there and like the world's ending and they're stuck in there and they have to survive. And I, I liked it, I hated the ending. I didn't really like the ending that much, honestly, but I liked it overall. There was some stuff I did not like, but overall I gave it a three out of five. I will be reading the sequel because I'm very intrigued to see what happens next, but it wasn't my favorite by any means. The book I read is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. You guys know I love Morgan Matson's Amy and Rogers Epic Detour, and I love this one as well. There will be a review coming up shortly on this. I will say either 
tomorrow or the next day for sure the review will be up. But um, for now, I'm not going to say too much about it because it will have its own review. I will link it I have it already right over here. Tell by the book so the link I will be working until two days. You know, like, just throwing it out there. Yeah. So if you Overall, I love this book. I, it, it made me cry. Yes, yes, everyone. For all you guys that think I do not cry with books, this is the first book that has ever made me cry and figure out why in the review in a couple days. You will learn more about me in this review. I will be 100% honest with you because I get kind of real and it's not really happy stuff. So yeah, but I loved it overall. Morgan Matson, I love you. Four out of five to this book. Four out of five. Which I randomly purchased from Barnes & Noble the other day and I was, I made myself not buy any YA because I'm trying to expand my, I, I don't know. I, I've noticed this year I've read a lot more adult books and I really like that. I don't, I love reading adult books, honestly. A lot of people ask me, why don't you read more adult books? Primarily, yes, I do love YA, but I love my adult books just as well. I also love my chick lit books just as well. Call me crazy. I like them, okay? I like them. The, the book I got was The Girl's Guide to Love and Supper Clubs, and I really like this one. This one was about a girl who recently got dumped by her boyfriend, who was a huge jerk in the beginning if you read this book, like, ugh, ugh, to you huge jerk ex-boyfriend and she is a chef pretty much or she wants to be a chef she starts this like secret like diner club or dinner club and it was amazing I love books that are about love and they have recipes in them sign me up any day call me crazy I loved it I thought it was great four out of five and the cover has a cupcake on it so can't go wrong there the last book I read of this month was also a library book and that is Someday Someday Maybe by Lauren Graham yes Lauren Graham aka Lorelai Gilmore for you guys that love Google Girls as much as I do. I was disappointed with this book. If I'm being 100% honest, I was. I went into it with high high hopes because I love Lauren Grant so much. I love Gilmore Girls, guys. You know, it's my all-time favorite show. And I didn't like this book that much. It's about a girl named Franny. It's about, it's set in the 90s. It's about her going to New York and like she sets a deadline for herself to like get to a certain point in her career, in her acting career. And you know, if not, she would move away. And I just, it felt kind of short for me. I, I didn't love it. I'm sad to say that because I love Lauren Graham. I love you, but I just, overall, I didn't enjoy this book. I give it a three out of five. I'm sorry to tell you that. That was all the books I read in August. Let's talk about the books I'm reading in September. September is one of my favorite months of the year. You may ask why, because it is my birthday month. So, of course, for my birthday month, I'm picking books I want to read because it's my birthday month. I'm turning the big 2 5 this month. 25. Half of the 20s is gone. Where did it go? I don't know. I pick books I really wanted to read. So yeah, let's talk about the books I plan to read. The first book I want to read is The Archive by Victoria Schwab. Every time I give here Schwab, I think of like a Q-tip. Don't ask me why. This one is very hard to explain. It's about keepers. I know that Jesse the Reader loves it. I know that a ton of other people love it. I hope to love it as well. What I plan to read is Rush, the game book one by Eve Silver. This is a book about these kids that are, I guess, thrown into like a game and there's no like practice or anything. Like once you're in there, you have to be in there. I, I think it's about that. It looks very intriguing to me, so I really hope to like it. You never know. I haven't heard too much about it. So the books I plan to read are all, we're all in my book haul. So the good news is, at least when I buy my books, I read them. That's a good thing. The next book is one I just hauled again. It's Big Girl Panties by Stephen Evan Evan Check. Evan, I always pronounce the name wrong, and everybody's like, "You pronounce it wrong." Guess what? I'm not perfect. This is a contemporary adult novel. It's about a girl that a woman who loses her husband, and she meets a trainer, and they start training. And I think she falls in love with him. I'm excited to read it. I think it'll be a fun contemporary novel. We'll have to see. Right, the next two books, okay, are books I've hauled in my last haul. And that is Mr. Padam Brooks 24 Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. You guys know how much I wanted this book. Now I can read it. It's about a bookstore, a guy that works at a bookstore, and like magical things happen, I think. I've heard nothing but good things about this book, so I cannot wait to read it. Yay! Same goes for this book, which is 45 Pounds More or Less by Kay Barson. I'm excited to read it. And the last book I plan to read, which I'm also very excited for, is Unraveling by Tara Mahaffey. Tara Mahaffey. Tara... Miss Mahaffey, you have a hard name to pronounce. Sorry to tell you that. <laughs> and this is the sequel to Shatter Me, which I loved. I cannot wait to read this one. And before you're like, wait a second, have you read Destroy Me? Is that what it's called? The novella? I do plan to read that, so just calm, calm down. I will read that for sure. 100%. I will definitely read the novella before I attempt this one, okay? Wait! My book jar. I haven't really slacked on the book jar. I've pulled like two books from this and I haven't read either of them, so <laughs> what's one in this book jar? Who knows? Here we go. Let's hope I get a good one. 
Alright. Ooh, okay. I'm good with this one. The book that my book jar has chosen is Talking to Girls About Duran Duran by Rob Scheifeld. A lot of you guys have recommended this to me, so I cannot wait to read it. It's about, I think it's um, almost like a memoir. And I'm excited to read it. It's more like 80s and that kind of stuff, and I love reading books like that. So, yeah, I'm excited to read it. You know the rules. Vote for the two books you want to see reviews on, and you shall get them. And, yeah, what books did you guys read this past month? Was it a good month, bad month, you know, whatever. And what books are you planning to read for September? Have a great rest of your week. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm.